All right, greetings, real filmers. I'm here at the GI Film Festival, and I have with me Mark Valley. How are you doing? Good, Brandon. Thanks for having me. No problem. Uh, well, well, first things first. Um, the the primary question I've asked a lot of the guests is, you know, what it's been like to be here at the GI Film Festival. But you know, you're kind of in a you know a different category because. You know, you I understand that you have graduated from from uh, West Point, mm -hmm. um, so so you're in a different category. It's almost like coming full circle. So, what what is the experience been like here at the festival? Yeah, it has been like coming full circle. It's great to come back and be around uh, other people that have been in the service because there's instantly a, a camaraderie there that you I really haven't experienced in the same way in the film and television business and. Uh, in that respect, it's really fun to come back and to hang out with veterans and, you know, kind of celebrate what's going on here. Cool. Have, have you had, like, a moment thus far that's kind of st stood out with you, whether it's been with, you know, any of the folks that are in the armed forces or with any of the other, the one particular event that stood out for you thus far? Um, well, it was kind of nice getting that 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 award, that <laughs> a veteran in entertainment. I, she was, as a matter of fact, when um, uh, Brandon and his, um, his wife Laura were, were you know, talking about the award, and I didn't think they were. I mean, I wasn't. It wasn't like I was up against anyone. It was just I knew I was going to get it. Sure. But I, it sort of surprised me. I thought, oh wow, they're recognizing me here. And it's been a while since I've left the army. It was end of 1992. So um, I've been as I've been working on being becoming a civilian for quite a while now. So it's nice to come back and to be reminded of that that part of myself. Okay. Um, well, shifting over to, to film and, and television, mm -hmm. um, you know, you've not only done, you know, a multitude of television projects, whether it's Fringe or Human Target, but, you know, you recently kind of dipped in into voice voice work as well with, uh, I understand, with the, the Dark uh, Knight, Superman. Dark Knight Return with yeah. Superman. Mm -hmm. So um, with the next project that you have, are you going to continue, you know, your television work or are you going to uh, kind of dip, you know, further into voice acting? going forward um yeah i'd love to do some more voice acting you know if, if opportunities present themselves then yeah it was, it's really hard to say you know what i'm going to do for my next my next job a lot of it depends on what people are doing and, and what i'm right for and whether i'm available or not so okay you know hopefully it's uh you know hopefully it's um i do like doing voice stuff yeah, it's, it takes a different it's a different type of acting you have to be a little, more, little bit more expressive because it's just it's just your voice that's um, as a matter of fact, when I did the Superman thing, I, I showed up and um, and they said, well, let's turn to page four. I said, they don't have anything on page four. They said, yes, you do. And I looked on page four and it said Clark Kent. And I said, oh, man, I totally forgot. I have to do Clark Kent's voice, too. Okay. So I, it was twice as much work as I anticipated, but it was it was really fun. All right. Well, awesome. Well, well thanks again for your time. My and pleasure. There you have it, Real Filmers. Till next time.